Okay, so naming polynomials is a thing we do. We talk about these according to their name. And they are named according to their degree and their number of terms. It's like we give them a first name and a last name based on what's involved in their polynomial. So for the degree, for the degree of the highest exponent, if we have a degree of zero, its name is constant. And I do want you to write these with capital letters. They are like a first and last name. <clears throat> If the highest exponent is a 1, we call it linear. If the highest exponent is 2, we call it quadratic. Three is cubic. Anybody want to guess what four is? Quartic. Five is quintic. Do you think some of these came from the same roots as some words for numbers in languages? And then anything with a degree of six or over, we call it to the nth degree. Meaning if it was an eight, we would say it's to the eighth degree. If it was a nine, it would be to the ninth degree. So these ones have special names, but once they go six or over, we just call it what the degree is with the number itself. <clears throat> there are four last names for polynomials based on the number of terms they have in them. If there's just one, it's a monomial. If it's two, binomial. Anyone want to guess on three? Trinomial. Mono meaning one. Bi meaning two, tri meaning three. For anything that's four or greater, we go with the word polynomial. The root for poly means many. So let's go back and look in our notebook at that one that we were writing here. What is its highest degree? Five. So its first name is Quintic. Thank you. And then it has how many terms? So what's its last name? Polynomial.
If we go up to the first two examples I wrote, this one, what's its highest exponent? So its power is cubic, and it has four terms, so it is, mm -hmm, it's a cubic polynomial. What about my second example? Its highest power is a two, so we would go with quadratic. How many terms does it have? So it's a quadratic binomial. With that, we're going to get the notes for the names on the back page here. So I'd like you to turn the page and you're going to glue it back here. And then we'll go do a little bit of practice on this in our Desmos.